The Centre for Air Transport and Environment was set up here about eight years ago um, to look at the environmental effects of air travel. We study disturbance caused by aircraft noise to people living around airports, uh, local air quality, health problems around airports, and of course we study the big issue of climate change because air transport makes a significant contribution to climate change, but it is so important to modern society that we want to see the growth in air transport, but equally we can only do that if we deal with the environmental problems. The aviation industry is about 100 years old, although in reality it's about 30 or 40 years old, because for the main part of the last century very few people were flying. But over the past 50 years, it's changed the face of the earth. We're no longer a society of monocultures. We're a multicultural society. Uh, people take it for granted now that you can fly all over the world. But unfortunately, it brings with it a lot of negative impacts. Noise around airports affects people every day of their lives. Um, Local air quality around airport is affected by the aeroplanes and people driving to the airport. This has health consequences. And of course climate change is the big one. What we've set out to do in our research group here is to find out if it is possible and how we can have the benefits without the costs. The work that MMU has been doing in this field has not only affected the growth and development of airports, but actually it's affected UK legislation. Um, Ken Hume, um, many years ago, uh, did a big study on the effects of aircraft noise on sleep. And the results of that research was used to underpin the UK night flying policy that prevents certain aeroplanes flying. In the future, if we want to enjoy the right to go on holiday, the right to go and visit our family abroad or anything like this, we may have to give up some of the fluff that we associated with, uh, with aviation. The critical thing in this is the way to the aircraft. Believe it or not, there are five tonnes of catering on a jumbo jet when it flies across the Atlantic. That means you've got to have the fuel on board to lift those five tonnes of catering. Cathay Pacific uh, which flies from Manchester across to Hong Kong, took paint off its aircraft and polished it up. Beautiful silver aircraft. It took 220 kilograms of paint off and it saves £100,000 a year in fuel costs. A, and this is a nice one, a low-cost Chinese airline has invited passengers to go to the toilet before they get on the plane because they then have to carry less water in the tanks of the aircraft and that's saving £54,000 a year in fuel costs and the air pollution that goes with it. So there are lots of ways in which we can reduce, uh, we can still go on holiday and fly but we can reduce the environmental impact of what we do. Two years ago we received a major grant from the government, £5 million to be spent over two years to carry out a whole series of research projects into this challenge of how do we make aviation more sustainable. And MMU is leading a group of seven universities, including Oxford, Cambridge, Reading and Sheffield, Cranfield and so on. We're leading this group because we are seen to be the premier research institute and therefore the leading academic institute within the UK in this field of aviation and environment. Now there is a clear business reason why the aviation industry needs to deal with the environment and we're here meeting that need if you like and also meeting the need of society because people love aviation, they love to fly, they want to go on holiday, they want to go and see their mum at the other side of the world, but they also recognise that there is an environmental cost to enjoying the product and services that air transport provides.